Love to You by emerging young artists from Toronto and Spark Rock from London, UK. Our exciting transnational art exhibition project, Head of Chaos, in which we share the awareness of the current urban living experience and situation where humanity is a part. So one of the main ideas of our exhibition is to build connections between the artists from both London and Toronto. So based on their concept and inspirations behind their projects, we put artists into five pairs. In each pair, the two artists can communicate with each other and create new ideas. We are thrilled to have five amazing Toronto-based artists and their London partners to make this project into realization and come up with such a wonderful collaboration. Major Ross with Clinton Yip, Christine Donahue Stanford with Julia White, Olivia Brower with Ethan Catholic, and Lady Carlo with Elias Alavis, and Kiko Hart with James Crawford. All the artists, they gather fragmented objects or sounds or video footage to group all this together into different projects. Kristen brings her very interesting family background story into her work. So she brings all the letters and the objects her grandmother has owned 50 years before. She brings all those objects into the gallery and make those objects into artworks. So she can share this family story with all the viewers coming into the gallery. For this exhibition, I was paired up with Julia White. Very coincidental on the telephone, we both recently discovered that one of our relatives had passed away and in the same weekend we had spread their ashes. Mine was my grandfather and then hers was her grandmother. For me as an artist, I focus a lot on themes of femininity and gender dichotomy, but also memory. We ended up having a discussion about how my grandmother had emigrated from London when she was 19 and come to Canada and lived in Toronto for the rest of her life. Because it is obviously her belongings I'm using through part of the show, like this is the suitcase that she brought with her over to Canada. It's already about 60 years old. Yeah, she's coming to the opening. She's promised for sure. She's very excited to see everything. Megan uses an interesting way to build relationship between the two cities. She uses the photograph she gathered from both London and Toronto and cut those photographs into pieces representing people and the socializing in this society. She uses two cleaning robots to suck all the fragments together so that she creates a space for the people in both cities. So based on Olivia's work, she's a half-blind artist. She created this series of work, including both images and textured images. So the viewers can both see and actually feel what she wanna express in the work. And I use abstraction as a way to emotionally uh, feel something as well as physically feel something. As a partially blind artist, um, I kind of want to explore that and I feel almost a responsibility to bring it to the art world to make it accessible for both people who are blind and sighted and how both people can interpret it in different ways. Emily uses video as a media to create the idea of paralleled world that she put the daily life video from both London and Toronto together that the viewers can experience the life in London and Toronto at the same time when they're watching the video. 
I'm Emily DiCarlo and I'm a Toronto artist uh, who's collaborated with uh, Elias Alavi, a London-based artist. We document a setting sun um, within that same 24 hours. Through the process of exhibiting the work that the two uh, documentations are matched and time and space is compressed. Through discussion, we discovered we actually had very similar routes um, from the local subway or the metro to our homes, about five minute walk. What ended up happening is we documented in one take our route home. We discovered that we both lived in apartment buildings, so it was a seamless uh, shot from the subway to our homes, up the, up the elevators and out looking um, to the sunset where then we could uh, sort of imagine each other looking at that same setting sun. Keiko's work is more interactive and more fun to most of the viewers that she actually put karaoke equipments into the gallery that the viewers can engage themselves into the project. While their singing and their faces are projected on the wall, they become part of the project as well. At the same time, she projected the live streaming video of London Street View. You may say I'm a dreamer And a hearted kiss so hardcore I'm falling It's a cold and it's a broken Hallelujah We are excited to see that Sparkground and emerging young artists are creating this renovative way of art creation. They build the connection between the artists to bring them ideas together. I think it's a, like fantastic that they came together to do this. The way they both handle it and really came together so it didn't feel so much like it was two separate groups. Like I never felt like I was working with one or the other, like I very much felt like the whole time we were in communication and it was kind of just actually like how a collaboration is supposed to be where everyone is openly communicating with one another and every artist from Toronto and London is of equal weight. Different from the traditional way of curating an exhibition, this time we gave all the opportunities and abilities to all the artists we have been invited. After communicating with the London artist, Toronto artists are receiving materials and objects and ideas from the London artist. So they're using all these materials and medias into their projects. And this project has really stretched me out of my comfort zone as a collaboration. I'm not used to that. So um, yeah, it was a good uh, way to move forward in the future of my work too. We're really thankful that we can get this wonderful opportunity to showcase our exhibition in RKG Gallery. For us, this is a really valuable learning and working experience. We also like to thank Robert Gallery for generously hosting us and giving us the space to show our work. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
and devotion to the overcome salvation they have met. Thank you, Sparkground, for inviting us for this cross-national collaboration. We are having lots of them. Thank you, every team member who's involved in this project. Our curatorial team, installation team, marketing, catering, and Clara Wen, you are such a good boss and should know it. And of course, thank you for everyone for listening. I believe you all have a good time at this opening. <笑>来 it will be part of the room. Oh. Wow.